Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Aquaman. Probably my second favorite of the whole DCEU. Uh, it's directed by James Wan, who we're going to see a lot more of in the coming weeks as we start to talk about the Saw franchise. Uh, it's from 2018, an action adventure starring Jason Momoa as Arthur Curry or Aquaman, Amber Heard as Mira, Nicole Kidman as Atlanta, Patrick Wilson as Orm or Ocean Master, Dolph Lundgren as King Nearest, Willem Dafoe as Volko, Timura Morrison as Thomas Curry, Randall Park as Dr. Stephen Shin, and Yehaya Abdul Mateen II as Black Manta. It has a 65% on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm, I think that's a little too low, but uh. It's, it's higher than most of the series, but I think it's a little too low for this movie. I think this could have done higher. And with a budget of between 160 to 200 million, the film made 1.148 billion at the box office. Let's see, I think that's higher than Toy Story. Uh, yep, higher than Toy Story 4. Toy Story 3 and it's higher than Toy Story 3 so that's cool so the movie is a huge step up from Justice League and pretty much everything else in the DCEU um, and it, it's mostly because Aquaman was probably one of the standouts of uh, that film and here he's put into the spotlight story is another simple one it uh, Arthur must find King Atlan's trident in order to become king, while at the same time he and Mira must race against time to stop Orm from destroying the peace between the nations of the sea and subsequently destroying the world. Right off the bat, this film is visually beautiful. All of the bright, vibrant colors, water effects, costumes, and action sequences really reflect how well they spent their budget and it shows how hard the visual effects department, designers, choreographers, and really everyone worked on this movie. With James Wan behind the wheel, that's not a huge surprise. Um, there's the areas of the coral where all the colors really pop. I gotta turn this light off. I have a really bad headache right now, and all of, any light is really screwing with it, so that's why this is probably going to be a darker video compared to other ones. Um, plus, it doesn't help. It's kind of cloudy outside. So, I usually use as much natural light as possible. But, I have a lamp here. I have another one over there that kind of fills out all that. But, it's killing my head right now. Um, and, again, with James Wan behind the wheel, it's no surprise that this movie went so far on... DC's most ridiculous character. I mean, he talks to fish. And they took that and ran with it. I think that's a really cool thing to do. Um, I'd have to say Patrick Wilson's Orm is probably the best DCEU villain. Uh, not only is he well acted, but his he has believable intentions. Now, I know all the glaring similarities to Killmonger from Black Panther, but... We're going to try to ignore that as much as possible. I don't want to get into that. Um, I think it's possible for two villains, even though the movies came out the same year, I think it is possible for villains to have the same motives. And they both went into production probably around the same time, if not earlier. Um, so I, I wouldn't go as far to say as they, they're copycats. And I'm fairly certain was Ocean Master created. Fairly certain Ocean Master came first. Yeah, he came in 1966. What about Killmonger? And Killmonger was created in 1973. So. Um, now I'm not too sure this is the original Killmonger, or the Killmonger we get. 
Uh, but so, uh, like I said, we're just gonna kind of ignore that. Jason Momoa and Amber Heard. Once again, we're gonna ignore the controversy between her and Johnny Depp from earlier this year. Um, they're really great in this, and I I feel like they had great chemistry. Um, one thing I really like about this movie is all of its action sequences and sequences and how badass they are. Um, there's the fight in Sicily where um, you kind of get two perspectives of the fight. You get Mira versus the guards, Arthur versus uh, Black Manta, and when it cuts to from, let's say, Arthur and Black Manta to Mira and the, the soldiers, or guards, whatever you want to call them, you, you kind of know all of the surroundings of the fight. You can still see in the background Arthur and Black Manta. And then once it goes from Mira back to Arthur, you see her kind of scuffle in the background of his fight. So you can tell all the different locations and what's going on. Um, the music helps. It's pretty epic. Um, I think Shazam kind of has better music. But, um, yeah. So I do want to talk about the water effects. Um, a lot of people were nervous about how that was going to go. And um, I can say that they, they look pretty good. I thought they were kind of silly looking in Justice League, um, especially since they didn't explore too much with it. But since a lot of their budget was devoted to um, the effects for this, you know, just their their hair flowing in the in the current of the water, or how they just they swim along naturally. Um, I think the use of underwater spaceships was a little wacky, but it is what it is. Um, so, uh, Willem Dafoe's character, when first time I watched this for some reason I thought he became the villain at the end of the movie um clearly I was wrong somebody just delivered something to the house um so obviously he doesn't actually turn but for some for the longest time I thought that's what happened um so I'm just gonna cut this kind of short because my head is killing me um I like the pace they picked for it uh, it's not too fast not too slow it's not it's just it's that just right pace where you can follow everything that happens and everything happens for a reason and there's here's your cause here's your effect there's nothing doesn't feel like it didn't get pay off at the end of it um so i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten i'm not sure why that is i just i think this could have been better but it's one of those where you you know it needs something but you can't place it Tomorrow we're going to look at Shazam, which I'm excited for. Uh, that's probably my favorite of the DC films. I think it's funny. I think it's heartfelt. Um, I might go real into depth on that once. That might be another long video, kind of like Batman v Superman. And then we'll be done with the DCEU um, until they inevitably release another one, which would be Wonder Woman 84. But I, I'm not too sure we'll be in theaters for that. I really hope we are because I want to see that. Um, Excuse me. So, until tomorrow with Shazam and until Wonder Woman 84 comes out, I'm Luke and I will see you guys later. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed what you just watched. If you're interested in more of my videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notifications every time I upload a video. And also, if you could, just leave a like down below and maybe even consider commenting and telling me things I did good, things I did bad.